Hi guys, back again with another delayed quest free update tip. And this is going to be covering how to get the Ethernet working on Steam Link application on Quest Free. So you can see here, what I've noticed before is if your Wi Fi is disabled, um, you are unable to launch the Steam Link application from your library. It would just automatically go straight to uh, this page asking you to enable your Wi Fi, even though Ethernet is connected. So Quick tip I've got back from the Steam um, community. Uh, one of the developers, Steam VR developers, responded to me. It's about 20th December. Telling me how to do this. I'm going to share that with you now. So what we can do is obviously get around this um, restriction in the Meta OS by using the universal menu down here. Now I'm going to have to make space and get rid of one of these icons. So I'm going to get rid of just the, the people. I can't get rid of Horizon Feed for whatever reason. So we're going to get rid of people by clicking the three dots. Unpin from universal menu. That gets rid of it down the bottom here. And I'm going to do the same thing for Steam Link, just clicking the three dots and pinning it to Universal Menu. So now I've done that. Um, you can see, obviously, this is still grayed out, but if I click this icon instead, it will launch into Steam Link. So I'll connect to the PC here. Ignore the error message that comes up. It's a problem with V62 yet again. Um, it will connect, it's just going to tell me it's got a problem when I connect straight away. Um, but yeah, this works absolutely fine. And what this is allowing me to do is basically um, avoid... Uh, Passthrough's not working again. Right. Avoid the restriction on my Wi-Fi 5 router, um, which only really realistically gives me a stable connection up to about 250 bit rate on Steam Link with the max encode size. So I just have bits and bobs I have here. Um, this is a normal USB-A... Um, hub with an Ethernet connection on it. I then connect that to a USB on the go adapter, which is USB C into the headset. It has a USB A port, which it, obviously this hub's plugged into, and it has power port as well, so I can power a PD charge into that. Um, I would highly advise not using the really small USB C um, straight to Ethernet adapters, especially the ones with the power input as well. They're just notoriously unreliable. Um, but this tip and this setup as well. I have to warn that the Ethernet driver can be removed at any point from Meta. Um, they've done that previously for the Quest 2. So this, I don't know how long this is going to last. Um, and also the Ethernet adapters you use need to be a certain driver. Um, and there's no real way of knowing that. So I can only tell you that I'm using a tech hole um, USB-A with Ethernet hub. Um, it's just very cheap. It's like £10 on Amazon, but... I think even Amazon stopped selling these. They're just generic brands, aluminium casing, USB hub with an Ethernet. Um, I can't say if it's going to be reliable for you, but this has been reliable for me. So that's my tip. If you need to actually use Ethernet on Steam Link, then that is one way you can do it. So I'll go back in, show you what I can get to the VR settings as well. Go to the Steam Link size. Got my encode here, target bandwidth. I can now go all the way up to 350. And have it really smooth and stable so this is awesome hope it helps cheers guys thanks for watching